Ooh boy, I have been procrastinating about this one for too long, so let's uh, let's get to it. What's going on, guys? So I actually had a chance to catch this like a few a uh, few days ago, and just enough with the procrastination. If I don't review it now, I'm like never gonna review this uh, this fucking film. So, um, what are some some positives about the film? Uh, positives, positives. Uh, for the most part, I think that the cast is is pretty fantastic. Um, you know, especially Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds really puts in a really nice performance. I mean, I, I would have liked if he was stripped of humor and his 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 wit, because like in real life, Ryan Reynolds he's a very funny, very witty guy, but. Uh, I don't know. It was I don't know how to put this. Like there was a lot of times when I was watching this movie, and I was just like, I'm watching Ryan Reynolds instead of watching his character. You know what I mean? So, and that was because like in this movie, he's kind of just how he is in real life, as opposed to whatever Ryan Reynolds' character is supposed to be. So I wish he was a little bit more serious, a little bit stripped of, stripped of his humor and his wit. But either way fantastic performance uh there was i don't know if i if i have it here but there was one sequence where when he gets locked in the, in the room with the alien i think the alien's name is kelvin or some shit but when he gets locked in the room and the fucking alien fucking swims inside of his mouth and he's just like <gasps> like that that moment his performance during that was fantastic i'm telling you if if ryan reynolds did a series of really good drama films where he was not being humorous, he wasn't being witty. I think he would be... I think he, he would have Oscar nominations Oscar nominations just out of his ass. I, I think he's honestly a really, really good uh, low-key great actor. But anyways, he was good. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, I thought he was really good. He's one of my favorite uh, actors. I especially loved him and like prisoners or or enemy or or nightcrawler uh or donnie darko i could go on and on but he's he's one of my favorite actors of all time in this film he didn't really have a lot to chew on in terms of uh like wow factor scenes or um really deep character moments but uh, he was good though you know he was sufficient you know he he was fine i mean he usually is anyways uh, what else is there to say? I thought that this character was pretty, pretty interesting as well. And I thought the actor played him well. I think his character name was Hugh. Uh, I thought it was interesting how he, like, couldn't, couldn't walk, you know? And he was probably mostly wheelchair bound on Earth. Uh, but up here, you know, he's kind of free. And, um, his character just got all kinds of fucked up. Like, when his fucking hand got all broken by the fucking alien, like, wrapping around it and squeezing the shit out of it. That, that sequence actually kind of, that, that sequence actually kind of got to me. Um, and then also the sequence where, when he dies, and, uh, we find out that the alien's been, like, wrapped around his fucking legs, I was like, what? Like, you didn't have any inclination that this thing was crushing on your legs? Like, I mean, I guess not, but, like... Ugh, ugh. Uh, I will say that the alien did bother me. Uh, there's something about it that just kind of disturbed me. It goes through. It's the alien is kind of like Frieza in a way. <laughs> it goes. It like evolves to different uh, physical stages. It starts here, and then uh, it kind of gets to this plastic tent tent tentacly kind of look, kind of like a starfish sort of look, you know, and then after that, I don't know if I had a, I couldn't really find a great shot of it, but then he kind of gets sort of squid-like in a way, and then it's, and then it evolves further where, like, it actually has like a, like a creepy, um, eerie face, you know, uh, the, the face was, was kind of creepy, especially, like, in this moment right here, 
with Jake Gyllenhaal when he, and Jake Gyllenhaal's final moments right here when the creature like it's it's wrapped around Jake Gyllenhaal and it's just like staring him in the face before it fucking I think it tried to open up his helmet and just killed him, you know. Yeah, the, the the creature. I think the thing that bothered me the most the most about the creature is that it was it was thinking, you know, like it was actually thinking. Um, but the one thing that I didn't like about this movie as a big flaw is that I hated how powerful the, the creature was. I felt like the creature was a little bit too powerful. Like when it was at this stage. When the when the alien was was at this stage, right? Like uh, like Ryan Reynolds, this motherfucker is like shooting like a flamethrower, like straight onto it, and that's not working. There's one time where the the this alien that gets sucked out into outer space, and it's out there for like like mere minutes on end, uh, maybe even longer, and it's just like swimming around the fucking space station. I'm like, what? Like like what? So what? It can it can it can live. In, in space for what a half hour an hour a few hours like what the fuck like what 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 is it gonna take to kill this fucking thing you know um or actually I, I should back up a little bit I mean that was definitely something that bothered me uh, until the ending because the ending kind of made up for the creature being so powerful I will say though like it got kind of the the ending revelation or twist. Definitely saw it coming for, for, from a mile away, for sure. Because um, the last two people living is Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, this character here. And, um, you know, her ship is trying to fly into Earth. And uh, Jake, Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal's ship with the creature inside is trying to fly off into space. But it's actually... The the film convinces you that that's what's happening, and then we see the ship land on on Earth, and we think that it's it's her inside of it, alien free. And it's like, oh, she made it. The alien got sucked into space. Yay, woo! And it was gonna end just like the ending of Gravity. But no, uh, there was there was a, a switch. <laughs> what actually happened was at the very end of the film, uh, the the ship that lands on Earth in the ocean. Is actually a ship that has only Jake Gyllenhaal and only the alien in it, you know. Um, that twist, I actually saw that coming, like, a few moments back. As soon as uh, the ship started entering the atmosphere of the Earth, I was like, I think, uh, I think the movie's trying to pull a little something, because something. just the way that they, they cut scenes together prior to the scene where we see... Um, Jake Gyllenhaal's uh, ship land into the ocean. I was like, something's up here. And I was right. What happens is these foreigners, uh, I'm not sure who they were. I can't remember. Uh, They look like just like farmers or some shit. They show up on a raft. (laughs) They open the ship with Jake Gyllenhaal on the ocean on Earth. And then, you know, I guess the alien escapes. And that first, that's a really, really cool ending. I like how dark that is. I like how fucked up that is. I thought it was a perfect ending. I just thought that little plot twist could have been handled better so that it was just like a complete surprise for the audience. But other than that, I thought the ending was perfect. It had this nice, like, Twilight Zone fucked up ending. It, it almost made the film seem like a overlong Black Mirror episode. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just thought it was a really nice uh, nightmarish ending, you know? And it kind of, because, you know, up until the ending, I was like, why are they making this alien so powerful? It's like, what can kill this thing? Now that this this alien has landed on Earth, and it's like, oh my god, it's going to be able to spread so quickly? How can they kill this thing? It's like it's like the perfect weapon to just infect and destroy the planet. <laughs> so, uh, now, when I get to the ending, I'm fine with the alien being so powerful so almost obnoxiously powerful, you know, because uh, now it's it's gonna wreak havoc on Earth, and I thought that was a great nightmarish way to end the film. Actually, the ending of the film really made the film uh, enjoyable for me. You know, it ended on a really strong note, and um, I, I think uh, just another thing I'll mention is the the CGI I thought was was really good. Actually, the CGI most of the time was really really solid and all the 
practical interior shots of the space station uh, were very detailed and convincing. You know, it really made you feel like you were in space on a space station. You know, uh, I never found any of the practical interior shots of the space station environment. I never thought that any of the CGI was cheesy. Or it was all very convincing. And the opening sequence of the film is kind of feels like one long take, you know? And I thought that was fantastically done. Um, here's a moment from the, the intro of the film. But yeah, the film starts with this really long, really long tracking shot. And, uh, we, you know, we're just following characters swimming around in zero, zero G. So yeah, the, the film on the technical level... It's very, very well done. It's very, very well done. And I think the acting across the boards... Uh, by the way, shout out to that uh, Japanese actor. I believe he's Japanese. Um, he, or he plays a character named Sho. Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but uh, he, he's a fantastic actor. I know he was in Sunshine. And I think maybe The Last Samurai and some other things that I fucking love. But uh, yeah, so the acting was great. CGI was great. The chemistry between the cast was great. Acting was good. Uh, I thought the ending was fantastic, even though the plot twist that they tried to pull with the ending didn't work. <laughs> but the ending was still really cool. Um, so I guess my biggest flaw with the film is the plot structure and the way that it's executed. is actually very cliched, very formulaic, and very predictable, which is really unfortunate. I mean, uh, there's definitely scenes that I thought were very tension-filled or filled with suspense. And I was like, oh, shit. Like when uh, uh, the black dude, Hugh, when he was getting his hand crushed or when that thing swam inside of Ryan Reynolds' mouth. I was like, oh, fuck. Or um, at the end of the film where uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and the creature are like face-to-face. -face, and that's like one of the last shots. One of the last shots that we see of Jake Gyllenhaal. Like those moments were like, oh, great. But I'm telling you, the plot... Is really, really weak. You know, the execution of the plot is really weak. Like a movie like Avatar, James Cameron. Um, it's a plot no sounding. No. But Avatar, James Cameron, the execution of that plot is extraordinary, in my opinion. When I watch Avatar, it, it's like a fucking experience. It's like a like a visual eye fucking uh, extravaganza, <laughs> and there's like all these wonderful emotional beats. But moving that aside, this film does not have that. Uh, the execution of the plot of life is just very meh, you know. I mean, there's definitely many, many, many pockets that are that will you know keep you on the edge of your seat, may make you bite your nails, and it, and it is entertaining. But at the end of the day, the plot is just pretty poor honestly you know because of being formulaic and cliche blah 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 so personally i'm feeling like a like a seven like a seven out of ten i think it's good i just would hesitate to say that's great all right but hey what would you think about this film um i'm glad i finally got a chance to talk about this film because i've been procrastinating on reviewing this film uh the next video you're about to see is uh my review for uh the fate of the furious or Fast and Furious 8, whatever, whatever the fuck it's called. But um, anyways, if you enjoyed this review, definitely make sure to smash that like button and subscribe as well. In fact, in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you should see a little circular button. You can tap that to instantaneously subscribe. And definitely check the description box and the comment section down below to see uh, you know my social medias. Add me on Twitter, fa Facebook, all that shit. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm out. Peace.